the number I keep hammering is 57. The days left to the election here. And Andrew, I know this uh, race seems like it's gone on forever, and maybe it has, but <laughs> there is certain dates in the calendar that will matter, and there's certain things that they can and can't do in this limited window of time. Yeah, Rich, obviously anything, everything could change between now and November. Yesterday, the Times focused on five key factors to keep an eye on. The electoral map in swing states, the debates, ads and messages, ballots, and money. Let's start with the electoral map. No matter how you slice it, the president, he's got a lead in the electoral vote, a built-in one. He leads big in more states with big electoral vote counts than Mitt Romney does, meaning Romney needs to win the majority or the overwhelming majority of swing states to win, but he's got a problem. Of the five most critical swing states, Romney trails in all of them. And you already know the two most critical states, Ohio and Florida. Poll averages have the president up around two in both. That's a lot for a poll average in mid-September. Then there are the other factors to watch, starting with the debates. The debates begin on October 3rd. That's just 23 days from now, and many watchers, myself included, beginning to think that the first debate may be Romney's last best chance to make a serious inroad in this race. First debate is domestic policy. That includes the economy, jobs, taxes, and the debt. That could benefit the Republican. Ads and messages. How many ads will the campaigns drop? How effective will they be? And what will they say? In the month between now and the debates, this could be a key factor that determines whether the polls move. Also, ballots. Who's on them? Who'll be kept from the ballot? Will a libertarian candidate run? And if so, will that hurt anybody? Would a Tea Party or Ron Paul follower run as an independent? Will a Ralph Nader guy run from the president's left? What about ballot issues like same-sex marriage or health care reform? Will that push turnout or... What about court rulings on voter ID cases like in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Florida? Finally, money. Rich mentioned the president outraised Romney last month. It doesn't include money from PACs and super PACs, of course. Campaigns are going to have enough cash to keep the ad wards going on campaign infrastructure and to spend big on get-out-the-vote drives as well. Rich? All right. Uh, we're going to be talking this week about stuff, um, sequestration, the tax plans. I know that's kind of wonky stuff, but that's what you guys are going to hear, trust me, out there um, in the next 72, uh, you know, 96 hours. But, okay, you're the campaign manager for Mitt Romney, Mark. I'll give you this task. you got a lot of money to play around with here, okay? But as Andrew said, you look at the map, you're already, you got a limited path there. It's a couple different ways. You lose Ohio, you basically got to run the table. So Ohio gives you at least a few different options to do it. How do you make a compelling argument um, that you're the right guy when it's complicated because these swing states are the states that some of the jobs are coming back to faster than other places in the country? What's your argument and strategy to win? Not to be redundant, but there's no way to state this. You have to be very vocal on what is your solution and your vision and your strategy for the specifics. future. You have to get specifics, but it's always big picture. A CEO of a company says, this is where I want to be in five years, and this is how I'm going to get there. You can get in the details of the tax cuts, whatever. You say, I'm going to have some major reductions in the overall tax rates in order to make our country more competitive, to grow our economy instead of sub-2% growth that we've seen, 8% unemployment. He's got to get the big picture message out there that frames everything. And then you talk about jobs and job growth through business growth and competitiveness. And that, it, and you'll, you know the Obama team is going to say, well, we help save uh, G GM. Well, that is also a, a $25 billion tab on the taxpayer. So what about that? We could have restructured GM, and, and Romney has said that, in, in a way that made GM right, it, more competitive it, right, for the future. You do the flip side. It's only my admiration for RNN that will allow me to counsel the, the Romney campaign because that won't work. Here's what he's got to do. He's got to change the subject to Obama's greatest vulnerability, his failure to get stuff done with the Congress. The message that Romney can connect with the American people is, look, I'm the guy who can whip this Republican Congress into shape and actually end gridlock. I will end gridlock. Now, that is a Hail Mary, nonetheless, but it will resonate, and it will bring them back. Um, why they haven't done that, why they had the whole Republican convention without mentioning that is beyond me. But repeating, Obama's bad and we need more jobs oh, Donna, will get Donna, him 40% of the you. vote. Um, you're Obama now. Okay. Do you talk about Bain? Do you talk about uh, tax returns? Or do you run a largely positive campaign and uh, talk about the unpopular stuff that's in the uh, Ryan plan? What's the strategy in the next six years? Because you're going to be outspent. You're going to be outspent. You do all three of what you said. You continue to say 
uh, half full versus half empty. I, I, you know, I have to be realistic, American public, but in Bill Clinton, and you pull Bill Clinton, you know, he may not physically be there, <laughs> but in many cases he will. True. Good times Bill Clinton, that's me. I'm the guy that can deliver. Let's look at him. And, and Obama, you stay in Ohio. And you talk about, see, I, where I disagree, you don't talk about GM and so on in, 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 the, in, in Ohio, because all those, all those uh, union workers know is that if the president didn't put up that 25, what, bill, bill, yeah, billion? No, 25 billion is what the taxpayer owes. Okay, right fine. Now. But if he didn't do that, all those jobs would be gone. So if you're Obama, you say, listen, I put my neck out on the line because you, the American people, mean that much to me, and I'm going to continue to deliver on if these the jobs. If the message is the economy, Obama wins. That's the, oh. that's the hard part for Republicans to absorb. They've got to change it into a leadership you're fight. You're the first guy to say that. I, 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 the I'm economy not the is the winning hand for him to play? I, 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 this, I think this he's yo -yo. demonized the alternative uh, to say, if you think I'm bad, no, no, imagine no, 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 this no. guy. I was not measuring their skills. I have opinions about yes. that. I was measuring where the politics, <laughs> the po but I'm not pregnant. <laughs> but where well, the, po the pregnant yeah, apparently, but, <laughs> but, but, but the politics <laughs> of it are, it's not working. He's got to change the subject. Look, that hug from that Republican pizza parlor Paul, Paul owner, Go that the is way. the Joe Sixpack event yes. of this yes. election. How well did yes. uh, Joe I, the Plumber work out for uh, <laughs> Mr. McCain <laughs> four years ago? Yeah. But I agree with your counsel. It's about leadership, and I agree 100%. Go after the failed leadership of not being able you to get something done for four years. Degrees. I didn't flip-flop. They're not mutually exclusive. Leadership and economic you, growth. God, the guy Richard, agrees with the attack. I'm not yes, taking I'm not taking, an answer, Rich. An I'm not answer. taking anything from those guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do with this guy. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, though, I think we're going to have more unanimity at the table. And we're talking about not politics here, but hidden heroes. 11 years after the World Trade Center towers fell and the anniversary is tomorrow, the government finally acknowledging that rescue workers might have gotten cancer as a result of being exposed to toxins at ground zero. It's something people have been saying for a long time. Today, finally, an admission. We'll explain what this means when we return.